Lloyd, um, just over 24 hours to go before the game. How have you seen the team? So, sort of like, handing up. Uh, the team's been working hard for now, what, three weeks, getting prepared for this match. And it's been a hard season, a long season as well. The guys know, obviously, that we haven't had the usual uh, summer break that everyone has. But uh, these are the type of games that we've played football for. The team's, uh, I think they're ready, you know, ready to go. You know, we've come a long way, it's a long, long distance to travel. And, uh, you know, we're going to get to the final at least and then push on from there. After yesterday's sort of like long trip, you think uh, some players are suffering from, from the actual travel itself, but we've had two flights, the stopover and all that. You think it's no, I think made a bit of a difference? Uh, the travel arrangements have been really good. I mean, it was two flights, but we had a little break in between them. Um, we've recovered, we've had 24 hours to recover as well. I, mean, I don't think that will play any part in us not performing tomorrow. Um, another question I wanted to ask you. You know that tonight we will, we will be training in another ground. We won't be able to train in the pitch which we want to have the game tomorrow. Do you think that has some sort of influence or could have an influence on the actual result of tomorrow or not? Well, I'm not sure if it have an influence or not, but it's, it's common practice that you do train on the pitch that you're going to play on 24 hours before. Um, to be fair, I, I personally am not very happy that I'm not training on the before tomorrow's match, but it is what it is, we can't change that, and so you know, we're not going to use that as an excuse either. You know, we're going tomorrow, you know, we're going to be. Thank you.